Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Bryony and I'm one half of the Indecisive Readers. Today I am here to unbox the November fairy loop, um, I think it is. I skipped the October one just because I kind of worked out what the book was, thought I'm not hugely interested, I'm not interested in the themes, but I can't remember what this one's about, but I worked out what the book was, I think, I might be wrong. Um, and I was interested, and I think I was interested in the fandoms, but I can't remember what they are. Um, it turned up yesterday, and I knew it was going to start shipping on like Friday, and I was really tempted to look, but I didn't. So we're going to discover together. So when you open it out, it has the spoiler card, which is very pretty. It's for enemies to lovers, so I'm hoping there'll be some enemies to lovers themes in here. Fandom. Um, I quite like enemies to lovers as a kind of romance trope. I think it's when it's done well, it's really interesting, and I think it can be really, really good. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping there are some in here that I like. Um, so first we have what seems like literal hay. Um, I think I might need to find somewhere to put that actually. Right, this is going to make more mess than like the normal just paper. Is that recyclable? I don't know. Well, it's all over the next thing, so that's fun. Um, the cat's gone. She didn't like that. Right, so the first thing is covered in hay. It looks like maybe a bag. Let's see. Right, so it is a bag with people on it. Can you see? Oh, is that upside down? Okay, it was the right way up for me with people. So there is a lady with fairy wings or a fairy dress and a bloke. Who are they? Who are you? Let's see. We are so excited to present you with this stunning Jude and Carden tote bag. We partnered with the talented Rosie Thorns 88 who has done an incredible job designing this portrayal of one of our absolute favourite enemies turned lovers, Carden and June from the Folk of the Air series by Holly Black. Now, I haven't read that, but it is a very pretty bag. Um, it's really nicely done. Would be very pretty for carrying stuff around if you go anywhere, which no one is at the moment. But I very much like that. Um, don't know if I'll keep it just because it's not a series I necessarily have any interest in reading. Um, and I feel like a lot of other people would like that, but I can appreciate that is incredible. That's so, so pretty. It's got like details of like a snake and some swords and leaves and very very nice. So next looks like a scarf which is also covered in this horrible hay stuff. I don't like it. It's like being up at the yard all the time and I'm up there enough. And that is... I feel like I'm do about to do a magic trick or something. No? Is it that way up? Yeah. No way I can read that. What does it say? read that first word come come I thought it was an L come and gather a story is about to begin by Rosanna Brown who is the author of A Song on Rates and Ruin and I adore that book that is the one that made me realize I like enemies to lovers and it says we love including bookish scarves in our boxes. This one is designed by the talented Jez Hawk and features a quote from A Song of Wraiths and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. We wouldn't want you to get chilly on your way to the library. That's so pretty. I absolutely adore this. It kind of matches the vibe. I can't get my book out, but it matches the vibe or the kind of swirly African kind of design. This is fantastic. I was thinking I needed to take a picture with it. Wonderful. Oh, it's so pretty. I adore that. That's oh, so nice. I love it. I want to say thank you, but I don't know who I'd say thank you. This is a scrunchie. It says, next item is the literary scrunchie featuring a beautiful quote from Shatami by Terry Maffei, brought to you by Fairy Loot. There is nothing better than a bookish spin on a useful item. Now, I've not read Shatami, but my hair is up, so I'm not going to like put it up again. But, oh, that's really cute. And then you could like tie it in a bow at the front if you wanted. Oh, oh, I like that. That's nice. I like the kind of aesthetic, even if I can't read it. Um, that's really pretty. Very much enjoy that. I like a good scrunchie because my hair is too long. Um, it's down to my bum at the moment. And so I always have to have it up. So that is nice. I assume there's an enemies to lovers in there. 
Right, this is a sticky screen cleaner. Well, my screen is probably a mess, so that's probably quite good. It says, this is a reusable foam screen cleaner. It features a bookish design by Tara Tajay and is inspired by Angel Fool by Suzanne E. Um, I'll put a picture up on the screen. It has kind of wings on it. Angel Fool. That would be useful. That's actually something you could use because like sometimes the items are just like you'll put them up on the wall. But like I'm wearing this, I would use the bag, I would wear the scarf, I would clean my phone. Um, and then is this the last one? I think it is. Oh, is this the bag hanger? Which, oh. Is it meant to do that? Is not a fan of having your books that most definitely contains your precious books being on the floor, we've got you. In this box you'll find a bag hanger with a beautiful design by Tara Tajay, inspired by The Wrath and the Dawn by René Adé. You can carry this nifty device with you and hook it onto most flat surfaces and voila, you have a safe spot to hang your bag from. Is that it? Like, is, like I'm very confused by that. It, it looks like the right thing. It feels like it should be magnetic and I don't have anything magnetic to try it on. How do you, how does it work though? Oh, oh, you like stick it on there in it. Ah, uh, sneaky, sneaky. It was to foil those of us that don't understand anything. Um, it has a rose and a dagger. I'll put a picture up there and now I understand it. That is very nifty. Did they describe it as nifty? Because it definitely is, but it just um, baffled me. I am not awake on this Sunday morning, apparently. Then, I think these are some bookmarks. A set of foiled bookmarks. Where are they from? We are so happy to include a set of foiled bookmarks. We worked with the amazing Rukasu Art to bring you some of our favourite couples and we took them out of their typical fantasy settings and into a modern world. We love the results and we hope you do too. The fandoms featured are Serpent and Dove, A Court of Thorns and Roses, the Iron Fae series and our book of the month. Oh, they're like... I don't know who any of them are actually. That's good. I've got two of one, which is slightly confusing. I assume I'm not meant to have two of them. Um, so that's Juliet. She's looking very funky. And on the back is Roma. And then I've got two of Feyre and Reese. Oh my God, he looks like a normal person. Um, but anyway, that's them. He's still got like some wings. And wearing some trainers they're all wearing trainers that's like kind of weirding me out i'll be honest like they shouldn't be wearing trainers um then we have megan on that side and ash on that and then finally we have lou and reed did it say yeah reed um i don't know who they are but they are very pretty i like the kind of shiny foil i think it's very Although it's weirding me out, I think it's very clever that they've like taken them, taken these descriptions and made them look modern. And then we have the tarot cards. This month's featured tarot cards are the Page and Knight of Swords. They are designed by the talented Ars28 and are inspired by House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J Maas. I don't know who they are. Like, they look good, but I haven't read the book yet, so I've got no idea who they're meant to be. But like, there's a fire lady and a man with long hair and tattoos and now I want to get to the book because that's a bit I'm excited by obviously everyone's excited by the book once again has more of this hay I'm not a fan of the hay I'll be honest why they changed it from the paper that looked pretty in the photos I don't know but starts with pink edges well it's got stuff in here hasn't it hang on should we get the stuff out there Oh, well, that spoiled it, wasn't it? So, there is a picture of one of the characters in it looking very, like, snazzy in a kind of 1920s get-up. And then there's the scoop, and it's got an interview with the author. There's the bookmark, and there's an annotated chapter. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I don't mind it being spoiled, because, like, I did know what it was. But the book is... These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. That's so pretty. Like, 
that's what it looks like it's kind of rose gold it's got a rose gold dragon it's pink oh, and it's got pink to match the edges that is oh. it says on the back the year is 1926 and shanghai hums to the tune of du how do you say it dubosh dubosh du dubatch du anyway it's a 1920s shanghai retelling of romeo and juliet which is why these characters are Juliet and Roma. I believe there's artwork under the cups. So let's have a look. Oh, there is. There is. Right, so it goes. Can you see? I think you can see. So there's a lady and a man looking mighty fine in their creepy 1920s Shanghai world. It's also signed, I think. It's both book plated and I don't think that's actually signed. I think that's kind of like a printed signature. Let's have a look at what it's about though, because oh, that's, oh, oh, that's so pretty. I'm planning on doing a book haul tomorrow and I was like, I need to wait because this is going to turn up and I'm going to be excited. Right. It's got that word and I'm not going to read it again. The blood feud between two gangs runs the streets red, leaving the city in chaos. At the heart of it is 18-year-old Juliette Kai, a former flapper who has returned to assume her role as the proud heir of the Scarlet Gang, a network of criminals far above the law. Their only rivals in power are the White Flowers, who have fought the Scarlets for generations. And behind every move is their heir, Roma Montagov, Juliette's first love and first betrayal. But when gangsters on both sides show signs of instability culminating in clawing their own throats out, the people start to whisper of a contagion, a madness, of a monster in the shadows. As the death step cup, Juliet and Roma must set their guns and grudges aside and work together, for if they can't stop this mayhem, then there will be no city left for either to rule. Oh, and it says it's perfect for fans of City of the Brass, and I adore City of the Brass. That oh, sounds so good, looks incredible. The items in this, like, are really well done, even if I don't, like, kind of understand them all. They are, like, so good. And, um, like I said earlier, with a lot of, like, usable things, like the bookmarks are obviously usable. I know, like, bookworms are, like, renowned for just collecting them and same. But, um, yeah, so good. And this looks incredible. And I want to say I'm going to hopefully put it on a DVR soon. But, like, I know what we're like. I probably won't. But, oh. That's so pretty. I like almost want to put it like that way on my shelves because it just looks nice. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, and the, the thing, um, this is a annotated chapter of the masquerade scene. Oh, that, oh, and, oh. <laughs> they're just making noises. And like, I can't like show you cause it's not like, but can you see like all around it is writing and little annotations i love annotating books this is and then i'm very excited about this because like i said i have realized that like enemies to lovers is possibly my favorite romance trope because when it's done really really well it's done really well because you have to have strong emotions and i think that's like a really good romance and so like ugh, when they're done well even if they hate each other at least there's kind of like some feeling to it and I think that's really good and it's gonna have dancing and another like not necessarily a romance trope but another just fiction trope I found out I adore is dancing especially between enemies to lovers there's a certain scene in A Song of Race and Ruin where um the enemies to lover couple which aren't a couple are just like people at this point have to dance or well, they don't have to dance but they dance together and I think it's so good because they have to be like close to each other and I think I've watched too much Strictly and I want to write a book about enemies to lovers dancing but kind of contemporary because I can't do like fantasy. I'd love to do fantasy but oh, this box, this book I'm so excited by. Ah. <laughs> um, if you enjoyed this video please um, let me know. Let me know if you've received it as well, if you're excited by any of these, if you think um, I should I don't know. I'm just like, my brain's a little bit fried. 
and I'm very excited and I'm very happy and I will put this up probably on Wednesday but yeah if you enjoyed this video please let me know like it if you did comment down below subscribe if you're not already and I will um, try and be more put together than that but um, I will see you in the next video bye